Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fader and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for October 9th, 2015. It's a Friday and the Moon is in Virgo today. And um, it's opposing uh, Neptune and it's conjuncting Hygieia in the morning. You know, we are in a couple of uh, weeks that we could really take things forward in our life, that projects should really be progressed in our life, that we could move mountains in. But today, especially with the opposition to Neptune and the conjunction to Hygieia, it talks a lot about keeping our energy reserves and well balanced. I mean, there are things that we should be taking front, we should be taking ahead in our life, and we must have action in. And there are things that are not in our control, that are not in our hands, and that we shouldn't be even letting affecting our moods or spending our energies over. So it's all about not wasting your energy too thin and not making yourself th sick in the process. A little later on today, the Moon is conjuncting Mars, the Sun is opposing Uranus, and that makes us a lot more unpredictable, that makes us a lot more rebellious, that makes us a lot more uh, impulsive. And these are good things if they are balanced. I mean, it takes us out of our comfort zone, it makes us try new things and think outside the box. But we have to keep in mind that we are aiming to get places strategically and to put some logical thought behind it all. Don't throw away the baby with the bathwater. Later on today, come afternoon and evening time, the moon is conjuncting Jupiter and it's already a lot more optimistic, it's a lot more benevolent, there's something a lot more easy and beautiful that comes into the energy of the day. You just have to be mindful not to spend too much money or to uh, indulge yourself too much after you've been working all day long and spending your energies over this and that. Other than that, Venus finally goes into Virgo and there's a dimension of scrutiny and criticism that goes into our relationships from today on. We become much more goal-oriented and that in a sense is a good thing because we'll be paying more attention to our part in their relationship, to everybody else's part in their relationships, are, are they doing their part, where is this relationship going, what's the aim of it, is it a healthy relationship, and these are important questions, we just have to be careful not to be overcritical and look for perfection in a world that has no perfection in it, and that's kind of the perfect thing of it, you know, so I hope you all join me tomorrow, and that's me signing off, Boaz Fader, thank you for being with me, bye-bye.